a horse that could do math? Time for one of my favorite stories. Clever Hans and his owner, Wilhelm von Osten, lived in Germany in the early 1900s. Hans could do amazing things like add and subtract, multiply and divide, tell the time, understand and even spell German. People would ask him questions like, what is two plus three? And Hans would tap his hoof five times. Crowds flocked to see the horse. Germany's government even tasked a panel of experts to investigate, but they found no signs of trickery. And then, psychologist Oskar Funks tested Hans under controlled conditions. For example, he prevented Hans from seeing the audience. He had people other than Hans's owner ask him questions. He tested Hans with and without blinders to see if the horse needed to see the questioner. And he tested Hans when the questioner knew the correct answer and when they didn't. What he found was that Hans could only answer questions correctly when he could see the questioner and when they knew the answer. Basically, someone would ask Hans a question, he would start tapping, and as he got close to the correct answer, the questioner and often the audience would give unconscious signals and Hans would stop tapping. Hans was absolutely clever, but he wasn't doing math. He was reading people. Today, we call this the clever Hans effect, and it shows up in many different areas. For example, dogs might seem to know their toy's name, but they could be reacting to their owner's subtle glances and body language. Someone might appear to be psychic, but they could just be picking up on tiny unconscious clues from their clients, sometimes even without their awareness. The clever Hans effect is also why treatments are tested with double-blind studies, where neither the patients nor the doctors know who is getting the real drug versus a placebo. Despite being disproven, Hans's owner remained convinced in his horse's abilities, and the two continued to draw crowds until von Austin's death in 1909. And poor Hans was probably drafted as a military horse in World War I. But there are important lessons to learn from the clever Hans story. Be skeptical of extraordinary claims. Look for alternative explanations. And be willing to change your mind with evidence. Especially when we want something to be true. Like a clever horse that can do math.